Hey guys, Andy from the FTPGamers.com here. We're talking about a new a function, if you will, on the World of Tanks. It is the Missions button, or the Missions section, now been added to the World of Tanks. Um, it's a good idea. I like it. It's um, rewarding players for playing games. It's giving them more crew experience, money, or items, depending on what you do. There are daily specific ones. There is 24-hour ones, and there's big long ones that are just... Um, like a week if I remember correctly a lot of them are very specific uh, to tanks like the two you've just seen there one's a British one, one's a German one but if you haven't got the tier 1 you know, version of that then you know you can always buy it it's, it's a nothing at all there's R82 on it uh, and then we've got two here which are Rank 1 and Rank 2 of Assault Breaker. As you can see, there's loads of different versions of that tank. Um, and different tanks in there for you to choose from. The only thing I'm not too excited about is a lot of the heavily used and heavily gamed tanks are in it. Like the KV-1 is in it. Which, if you're trying to get people to kind of use new tanks and trying to get them onto new ways of playing and not so they just sit and grind out XP and cash on a KV-1 every single match then you know this would be a good way of doing it um, the specific ones there kind of push people onto the tier 1 and 2 um, British tank destroyers so yeah, we're using the um, 6 pounder not the howitzer because I'm really not a big fan of the howitzer uh, we'll just check yep Upgrade my tracks quickly as well while I'm here. I can do that just now, so let's do it. The track upgrade, I've been told, is a must-have. When I posted the A22 video and the Churchill video, I got told off by uh, the community on the website saying, look, you've got to get the tracks. If you don't have the tracks, then you're really hampering your play style. So I was like, right, cool, no problem. Next time I go on, I will go and get the tracks. So there you go, guys. I have got the tracks for the A22. Thank you. <laughs> So we're going to see, not bad match. We're going to play against the KV-1s. There's an AT there as well. PZs. Yeah, it's pretty balanced. Nothing over the top. Where are we going to go? Hmm, right or left? Everyone's going to flood that hill in front of us, so we might go to the left. But again, with this tank turret and this barrel, it's not the best for damage, so... Not too sure. We'll see how the game pans out, see how it goes. We're going to the left, so we're going to go left around that building. Let's get wait till everybody gets out of the way. Come on, guys, move. 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 <laughs> Thank you. No, get out of the way! Oh, a fast little nippy tank with a zero degree turning circle, and I'm struggling to get past it because it's just parked. It's like, yep, thanks, mate. Cheers. With this tank, I can sit out in the open because we've already seen it's got a nice thick armor, so we can sit out in the open and take a couple of shells. There's nothing that's going to one shot us on the other team, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh, somebody's charging the river. Oh, he's nearly dead. Can I can I get a shot? No, I think there's building in the way. Yeah, building in the way. That was a bit silly, mate. That was a bit silly charging straight over. Like I'm all for, and I thoroughly encourage light tanks to, ch to get into positions so that they can scout. What I'm not for is light tanks charging straight down the middle so that they can get back, get destroyed, get back to the tank selection, grab their next tank and go out and get that destroyed and so on and so forth so that they can basically, with this mission section, there's one for 20 wins. So if they play 10 games in the space of 5 minutes on their 10 tanks that they've got unlocked, even though they've been destroyed on every single tank, they'll still get their 20,000 or XP or whatever the, the reward is at that time, which is a bit duff. This guy keeps flashing up across here, and I keep on looking to see. Let's get flat. Right, okay. Missed. Okay, can we get a... We hit him, but we did no damage. Oh, I can't get that lower glacier either. There we go. Hit the back of his turret and hit the ammo rack. That's fine. 
something's hit me like a good and I cannot see what it is. But as you can see, we've got that thick armor, so we don't really need to worry about getting hit. Like, we took three shells there and we're barely dented. So we're just going to drop back. There it is, see him? Straight ahead of us. Set my feet again. No, he's gone. Is he? Let's get a little bit higher, see if we can get a better shot over to that hill. Try and give that um, tank, whatever that Undertaker guy is driving, give him some cover and some help. We're not going to be able to do much damage to it, but if some guy's on that hill across there and we're firing shell after shell after shell, because we do have a fast fire rate on this tank with this barrel. So if we're putting shell after shell, it'll keep his head down and hopefully Undertaker can uh, sweep him behind him and... Uh, put a shell or two into his armor again still can't see him so don't know there's a tank off to my left but um one of our heavies is across there so we shouldn't have any problem whatsoever with them we'll point across there but i don't see us being able to help him much no so we've got one of our heavies on the left flank here just holding this side we've got a guy on their side in front of the um mountain he's reloading covering that so this left and middle bit here that we're covering and help cover is pretty much locked down at the moment there he is peekaboo can i get my shot off now he's reversing not good shot there's two of them get it get a shot on him though there you go so he's taking shells now and he's taking damage from the shells missed him. So he's had to make the decision to stay here, take the shells and try and get a better, cleaner shot. Oh, my guy just missed by a mile there. And again, really? Tank crew, come on. Wake up. It's annoying. My tank crew, I can see the guy. I know exactly where it wants to go, but my accuracy of a range and my tank crew's inability to hit a target. There you go, see? Nope, nope. Missed by a mile, missed by a mile, missed by a mile. It's not my aiming, it's the actual tank crew's um, level. There you go, got... No, I didn't get him, somebody else got him. Oh, hang on. Oh, um, hello? Uh, you seem to be uh, driving straight past me there. Uh, let's uh, we shot in his rear armour. Bosch to 76. Oh, he's serpentining. He's serpentining to try and throw me off. Oh, he's serpentining. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> serpentine, serpentine. Uh, if you haven't seen um, Alpha Soldier, it's a comedy. I severely suggest you go watch it. It's hilarious. And if you have seen it, you'll get that reference. Right, so we're back in position looking over that hill. Uh, Undertaker guy's still across there, so if he spots anything, we're going to be able to help out. There's something off to his right, right in the middle of the map. Oh, there's only two people left. Oh, we might as well charge them. I'm sitting there thinking there's... Nope. I was sitting there thinking there's enemies still uh, all over the place. But, um... No. There's just two of them left. Waste some shells. Just fire over. Well, that's well outside my accuracy range. So I'm not actually going to hit anything, I don't think. So we'll just use the uh, shells as much as we can. No, right, okay, let's just charge over, see if we can get up close and personal, use our thick armour as a kind of decoy. He's dead. That other guy's out hiding by a hill. He's got three tanks bearing down on him, and he's hiding on a hill there. He's, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, missed. Yeah, there's a heavy, look at that heavy, just rolling up the hill slowly, just going to wipe him out. I feel sorry for the guy, he's got so much bearing down on him. Oh, else that's not bad. Not bad little game. We won 14-8, which is pretty good. No, where is he? Why has nobody killed this guy yet? Three of them just sitting on that ridge line, just looking over the ridge, going, um, "Hello, hello." Oh, I'm gonna go and help. That's just silliness. Three of them just sitting there. Oh, Undertaker killed him. Well done, mate. Round of applause. Yeah, let's have a look. 
So then the screen's kind of changed on this part because now you have a section at the bottom for your missions. So you can see your missions. We completed one there. This one has got a progress bar showing us how much we've done. We've got another one down here which is a progress bar on it. So if we click this, it shows us. There we go. So we've got that award for playing in the AT2 tank, which is pretty good. Especially when we kind of need XP for our uh, guys as much as possible because they are only 70s. But for some reason that also... No, oh shit, grab that. Okay, I can't close that window because now that we've added that bar it's made the thing too big. I can't shrink it, can't grab it there. Oh, oh, there's a hand. There we go. Thank goodness for that. Sake, that was a bit uh, choppy. So we go into the missions now, we can now see that we've got a completion number on it. There you go. And there you go, that just shows that we can complete it again if we want to. It's multi-mission. That's how far we're through. A little progress bar. Right, let's see what do we want next. Churchill 2? Was that in that was in one of the missions, wasn't it? No, not that one. Not that one. I think it was this one. It's a salt breaker. I think this had the, the Churchill in it. Right, none of my other tanks are in it. Okay, so it's got the Churchill, so we can use the Churchill on that one. Don't have any of them, don't have any of them, don't have any of them. Okay, so we can use the Churchill, we'll use the Churchill for the next one then. Because it shows up on that uh, assault breaker one. So we'll try and get a... Uh, a little completion on that as well. I think for that one though you need to destroy 50 tanks. And uh, most of the time you maybe take out 2 or 3. I think that wants you to take out 50 in 24 hours. So it's... Um, yeah, it's not great. But again, it's got a, an amazing reward on it. If I remember correctly, it was an air vent intake max grade. So it's an amazing reward. So if you're willing to do the work, you're going to get really good rewards. But then again, it's another. We got rid of the the pay to win on the shells with the gold, and now we've got a uh, vest time in the game, and you get rewards, which is all right. But if you're a unemployed person who just plays this twenty four seven, then you're gonna get have everything maxed out within two three days. So it's like, nah. Right, let's uh, go up that little ridge and get shots across onto their flag area and in front of it. Me and a KV-1. Obviously this guy plays the KV-1 at a heck of a lot because he's got a real money skin or camo, depending on what you want to call it. So we'll go up here, but with this tank, as we all know, it's pretty slow on flat ground. So going up an ever so slight incline... We're going to be going at, what, 10 miles, 10 kph, 13, 12, oh, that's not bad, 12, 13 is not bad. It's a little tier 3 overtaking us, medium tank. Nitros, that's what this game needs, this game needs nitros, just so that when your tank gets stuck like this, turn on the nitros, pff, straight up there, no problem at all. Maybe I've been paying a bit too much GTA. Oh, the KV's catching up with us. Yeah, the cave just shot a, a wall. That's uh, fair enough. Let's have a look. We don't really want to poke our head over that edge while the tank on the right hand side is spotting for the enemy. So let's get right in this corner and see if we can put a shell on that spotting tank. Nah, he's behind a. He's behind solid culper. Nothing we can do to him. So we're going to have to wait until either he's destroyed by someone, he's taking shells. Right, he's been destroyed by someone else, so if we wait a couple of seconds, they'll lose vision on this ridge line. And then we'll be able to poke ourselves over it and just start battering people with this lovely high velocity turret. So can we see him? No, he's faded just as we got to the edge. Let's get out here. Sit just at the back of this ridge line, maybe use that tree and cover. Oh, seen someone again. Stuff's popping up, popping up and disappearing, so we're in range to uh, receive the signals from other tanks. Yep, there's definitely something up there. He's moving. He's just he's moving back and forth. There's no point trying to hit him. 
I'd rather he didn't know it, that I could see him. And then as soon as he settles, put a round right into him, destroy him instantly. So that's fine. Just sit here and wait for you, mate. I'm in no rush whatsoever. There's nothing else showing on the, t on the map. If he rolls back, I can get him. Yeah, there he goes. He's, he's settling. Ah! Oh! Me and somebody else fired at the exact same time. Oh, okay, missed. My, my tank crew put the shield to the lo left there. Okay. My he ne missed to the right now. Really? Come on, tank crew. To the right again. A bit low, so let's try there. No, oh, top and left. Top and right now. That is frustrating. Absolutely frustrating. 160. Oh, that's a Churchill as well. Put shell in there nice and even on you. See if we can track you. Oh, we hit you, but we didn't track you. Oh, your rear end sticking out, mate. Oh, tank crew missed that time. That's why I like that one of the missions actually has a, a level up for your tank crew. Oh, you're tracked, mate. You're dead. Sweet. Um, yeah, one of the points. Oh, they're taking the base. One guy's AFK in the spawn, the other guy's being destroyed. Uh, I don't have the speed to get over that ridge and put a shell down, plus we can't see him anymore. Please say we're not going to lose this with somebody taking the base just because one guy's AFK and the other guy can't see him. Oh shit, I'm getting shot in the ass. Twice. I get, I'm getting shelled in the ass by a friendly. I'm getting artilleried. I've lost. <sighs> That's a sneaky move. Well done. He snuck in. There you go. There's my progress for doing that. Snuck in there. They did well. They really did. They snuck in. They got it done. Engine and tracks on that Churchill. So we've got both these engines and tracks. Good, good. And then that 82. I got it that time. 82 as well. We did some damage too. Okay, let's just jump straight into another one. This is the SU-85. It's not on one of the missions, but I just really wanted to play uh, the SU-85 because I haven't played it in ages. It was my favourite tank destroyer before I changed over to the uh, British tank destroyer. So, we'll have a look. And this uh, highway map is really good. I really enjoy this map. A lot of open spaces for tank destroyers. It's a bit of congestion on the middle left of the map and down at the bottom right but if you stay, hang back just that little bit you can basically pick off whatever you want um, I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna go sit in the middle there's a sign the big giant sign that can you just sit behind it and you can uh, fire over the top of it to it's quite helpful to um, have Where is it? It's across there. Uh, SU-85 has a lovely barrel and turret and gun system on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nice, heavy. It sounds amazing when you fire it. Um, you've also got... Uh, oh, sorry. There goes the green part. He's going to be after me now. Run down a tree. So we go. We're behind this, but we're behind that sign. So that we're really hard to see. Maybe even the top heavy angle on the front would be able to be seen but we've got cover on that bridge uh, KV1 has just driven into me thanks mate that's uh, really nice of you we've got cover on that bridge so anything comes over that bridge pretty much destroyed in maybe one two shots we can see all the way across to the left anything that goes out in the open is going to be destroyed and we can see all the way to the, the middle right as well so we've got a nice lovely vision but Okay, we spotted something. But I can't see it. Double spot, but I still can't see it. Why can't I see that? It's off to the right a little bit more, but... Hmm. Well, that's peculiar. I can see it on the radar. I know it's there, but I can't see it. The tank. It's just because I'm too far away, but... Somebody's really peppering that hill as well, look. The auto cannon ones. We're going to have to go down there and um, give up our high vantage point. 
and see if we can't help our team out as much as possible. Can't see him. Must be behind cover. Hmm. Okay. So we've had to come off our perfect vantage point and go down out into the open. Uh, we're getting behind these trees. That's a friendly that's just shot at me again. What is it today with friendly shooting each other? And again, another friendly shooting me. There he is there. Fucking douche. I don't know why. I really don't understand. I can't understand why you would do that. Luckily, he's not... I've not taken any damage. If I took damage, he would take one of these shells right into his armor and die instantly. I'm not for friendly fire in this game. There's no excuse for it, especially when the... Uh, reticle round the tank is either bright red or bright green it's like you know that's a friendly or not a friendly simple as that there's no excuse um okay so our tanks that went oh we're gonna get pincered the tanks that were holding the town south of us have been uh, taken out there's only one of them left across there and he's nearly dead as well then we've got two heavy tanks rolling straight over the top by the time I turn, I'm not going to be able to oh, get a shot. Okay. No, okay, it's gone before we can fire, so. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can set up a little shot on the. Uh, on them when they try and take the flag. If we can do that, we we'll, should be able to take them out before they take the flag. As long as they're not KV1s. Anything else in their team that tries to take that flag, it's fine, we'll get them, no problem at all. But if it's a KV1, uh, we're scuppered, they're not going to get they're not gonna get taken out. Oh, for Pete's sake, what a small, annoying child. That's a report, I'm sorry, that's just absolutely no need to be pinging the whole entire map and filling up the side of the chat bar all the way. Can I do it just now? Or do I have to wait to the... I can't even see. I can't even see his name to ban, uh, to report him. That's how much, how bad it is. I can't even see his name to report him. Because he's spamming the chat bar. Right, we're going to have to move in because I can't see where they are. We'll use these hedges here as cover. Right, okay. Set our feet. There he is there. Round straight into the turret. No. That better not be a. Oh, it's a. It's a. It's a KV1. Of everything that could have charged that hill. Right, I'm immobilized. Right, let's aim for the front glacier. Do as much damage as we can. That's the most annoying out of all their team that's left. I could destroy everything in it except for. There you go, I'm destroyed. KV1. And you can see the penetration. He's got two shells straight into the main assembly there. Two into his lower glacier. There's nothing. Oh, I tried my best. But, um. We'll file a complaint against this guy. Spam. I don't know how effective it is filing complaints, but uh, we'll give it a shot. So there we go. There's that KV1. We've done a critical on two on it. We, um. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, to be totally honest. We didn't do amazing, but. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible, we tried, so we'll uh, shelve that and we'll go with this bad boy, the other tank that I haven't played in in so long, I think everything's upgraded, yeah, we've got everything, everything, so we're going for the next tier tank, let's have a look, and I'm going with the uh, 7.5 barrel instead of the 105, because I personally prefer the one uh, the 75 just love that penetration it really does a number on most tanks only thing bad about this tank is the exposed uh, treads because you'll get tracked pretty easily but it's a fast enough tank so if you're moving and you're uh, scouting with it then you should have a problem uh, oh we're back here again okay oh we're gonna learn from our mistakes on this map the last time. Last time we went up on that hill and we're sniping down. This time we're going to go over into the left, left middle-ish and we're going to 
cover all the advancing tanks and try and give as much spot and cover to everyone uh, on the map because we are a light tank still so I'm sure there's a light tank, is that a medium? no it's a light tank I'll have to check that, I'm not too sure now that I've said that I'm sure it's a, it moves like a light tank anyway so I'm going to class it as a light tank until I'm told otherwise so here we go, so we're going to go sorry, on the map it's right middle we're going to go into this bit here and we're going to throw up some spots for everyone to make sure everyone can see what's going on. Nice speed for this tank as well. That's why I bought the skin. You saw the green um, camo skin on it. Unfortunately it's a snow map so I don't have any snow skins but we had the uh, green camo for it which I actually like having. 10% less visibility but this tank is just so nice to use and this barrel and gun assembly is really nice to use so I thought we'll throw this up and give it a nice little bit of armour. So there we go, we spotted a couple. Somebody spotted up in that top corner again, so where we had the problem with the guy that was sitting spotting that ridge line. So we go across here. Oh sorry, I've just ran over some poor Frenchman's truck. My bad. Sorry. Didn't mean to do it. Uh here's a loaf of bread. Um so everybody's in cover. We're guy up in the hill in cover, we were two in the cover there, but there's a few different people spotting, so our artillery, if we, ha oh there he is, He's oh look at that, 107, and that's why you take this barrel, he's got the big heavy barrel, you can see that, um, is he going to try and flank me, he is as well, he's going to try and flank me, um, he's got the heavy barrel, I've got the, um, where's he going, um, he's got the heavy barrel, I've got this barrel, so, Silliness, yeah. He's dead. Yeah, he's got to be dead. Sweet. There we go. So, we hit him on the way past, but he had that big um, snub nose barrel. Oh! And we've shot him so hard, we've taken his tracks off. He's been tracked in that little ravine. So, he's going to have to come out of that ravine to um, do anything. There's a guy behind us as well. That's a tier 3 light tank. Do I sit here and wait to see if he comes out that ravine and takes it out? No, light tank. Let's go to see if we can annihilate that tier 3. So if we can take that tier 3, that would be amazing. So that would be another couple of points for a kill. And we need, I think it's a top 3 finish to get that XP. Whoa, hello. Boshed. Oh, he's hit me, and he's got the uh, he's got the ammo rack, and he's got the tr uh, the tracks. Oh, thank you, thank you, whoever helped me out there. That was that could have been an interesting one-on-one -on -one fight with uh, us spotting somebody just put the shell right into him. Thank you very much. I don't care about kill steals when it saves my life. Kill stealing when it's like it's clearly you're gonna get the kill and there's no reason for anybody else to oh there's a tree in the way. Um no reason for anybody else to fire. That annoys me, but when literally there's a 50-50 chance that he could have destroyed us. Oh hello! Attract, use the repair kit. Let's take another shell. Let's get on this corner. Right, okay. This puts him in a hard position. Does he come round that corner, take a shell from me, and then try and take me? Or, uh, we're spotting him, so he's taking shells already. Or does he stay there and force me around the corner? But he can't do that now that we're taking... Tracked. Reverse back while we're... There you go, dead. Um, oh, we're now struggling, because it's... Th we've only got three guys left. They've got three heavies left. This is not good. Good. I'm going to move round actually get off that corner because that guy clearly spotted me so oh that's a tank destroyer can we be cheeky put a shell out before he notices or before he misses no he's hit me but I've hit him 116 
Oh. Ah, uh, we're stuck behind a rock in a hard place. We've got a light tank shooting us in the rear armor. And we've got a tank destroyer shooting us. No, we don't. <laughs> tank destroyer shooting us on the side armor. But uh, that's not too bad. We'll take it. Have we done enough to get into the top three to get that uh, bonus crew experience? I'm hoping so. That would be pretty awesome. I think we'll just hang around and watch the end of this match because it's been a good match for the three of us that are defending the flag. So let's have a little look around. He's going to charge into the flag, so that guy's going to take him out. There he is. Looking over this guy's shoulder. Sometimes I do sit and watch matches after the uh, after I've been destroyed because sometimes there's some really great players that you want to get tips off of, so you can just watch their tank and see. He's taking pings from the right hand side. He can't see what that is. He's going to use that rock there for cover because uh, the guy on the right hopefully can't hit him. Now the guy in the front shooting him. He's pretty much surrounded. There's nothing much he can do. If I was him personally, I would have been over to his sh right shoulder, further back. There's a set of trees on a raised area. That's where I would have been. Would have been up there, slightly further back, and then just wait for them. In this this position, just wait for them. See if we can see what this guy's up to. He's, this guy's done really well. He's in a, I think that's a tier three light tank, and he survived and spotted. And I think he's even done some damage. Actually, he's probably done the same amount of damage as I've done. Um, if he goes right there, he's gonna get taken out. That's suicide, mate. There's three tanks that can see you now. He's noticed. Get out of there, mate. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's going to exchange auto fire with the um, other auto fire tank. It's that big one you should be worried about. Yeah. The big one to come out. The flood in the flag. Uh, this guy's got no chance to defend against four. Four in front of him, one on his right, so. It's GG. It's the end of the game. Go out in the place of glory, mate. Don't show your rear armor first. The only reason that guy's doing any damage to him whatsoever is because he's showing that rear exhaust engine area to him. And that's it. We won. So let's have a look to see if I did enough to get the mission completed for the day. Yes, there we go. Right, okay. So let's have a breakdown here. We got that. Spotted him. Shells. We did some damage to him. Get the tracks on that guy. You tracked him and tracked destroyed that guy. Let's have a look. Let's see which one that is. Yep. So we got the top three, and we got the experience for the crew. So if we go into the team scores, we should see. For some reason, the team scores are up, upside down. So we did the most damage. That guy was second. Crusader, tier 3 Crusader was third which is pretty interesting and there we go, we were second so that's pretty good, that'll do us and that goes to the, the mission so, that's missions guys thanks for watching, like, subscribe, favourite all that jazz and I will catch you on the next video